place your splat on the starting point. Draw the left ellipse. Put your pencil on this edge and slide the splat downwards. Now we're going to connect here and here with a straight line. Connect here and here. Erase the lines that are hidden. Let's draw a cylinder coming out in this direction. Replace the splat back on the starting position and trace around the right ellipse. Now if I want to slide in this direction, I need to put my pencil here. Slide it and draw a full ellipse. Just like before, we're going to join these two points with a straight line. We're going to join these two points. And we're going to erase the lines that are hidden, which is this one. Next, we're going to connect these two cylinders with a curve, it's called an elbow. I could sketch it in lightly. As it turns out, if you slide the splat down till you can just see these two points, it makes a pretty neat curve. On the top, I'm going to sketch in a curve. It starts in this direction and finishes in this direction. Curves around like that. Sketch it lightly and when you're happy with your line, and darken it in. Now let's draw a cylinder in this direction, same as this one, so it'll make a letter S shape. How far do we place the ellipse? Well, let's have a look at these two ellipses. There's about a finger distance in between. So let's do the same over here. A finger distance in between these two and then draw in a full ellipse. Now I want to slide my ellipse in this direction. If I put my pencil here, I run out of room. So I'm going to put my pencil up this end and slide the ellipse that direction and trace just half the back. I'm going to connect these two points there, I'm going to connect these two points. Now the reason I only drew half at the back is because it saved me erasing later on the part that was hidden. Pretty sneaky. Now it's time to draw in the curve. So just like we drew this curve, you can use this part of the ellipse to draw it in, or if you want to have a go at just sketching it, draw a light line and draw in a curve. Same as this one down the bottom. We're going to start in this direction, finish in this direction with a curve like that. Can you see any lines that would be hidden? This one. And this one. So now I've connected three cylinders. One, two, three. If I wanted to make this cylinder look even longer, I would just replace that there. Slide out there, draw, and connect again. If I wanted to make this shape look hollow, then I need to trace around this ellipse on the inside. Like that. Imagine this was part of a playground and I wanted to add a cylinder on the top here to climb through. I'm going to replace the splat 
back in the original starting position where I traced around these ellipses and I'm going to trace the top ellipse. I'm going to drop a line from the edge down just inside this line. I'll do the same thing on this side. Drop a line down till it's just inside. Then I'm going to trace half an ellipse, this half, down further. Like that. Let's erase the line that's hidden. Neaten this one up. Let's make it look hollow by tracing a line around the inside. Let's draw a hatch that opens up in this direction. Let's use the left isometric circle, slide it down until it touches here, and then trace that ellipse. If you wanted to build, look a little bit thicker, then slide your ellipse that way for a second one. Let's draw a little handle. Now you've learnt how to connect cylinders, we're going to show you a fun design. What can you design using your connected cylinders?